What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have conquered Central Europe and we are trying to upgrade our infrastructure and bring all of our troops east ready to fight the Russian menace. Kiev is under siege but we have numerous armies moving in. Uh, but where I left off was the fact that I'd actually begun my invasion of India. So uh, all my troops are now in transit and I didn't click enter because I wanted to uh, not miss it when I started up again. But yes, we have many, many, many fronts to fight on. We have the garrison of Baghdad has managed to repel a Persian attack, but I'm kind of hoping an Indian attack at Nerun will also draw some of their armies east. That's the plan anyway. It might even be worth technically sending someone to grab Ceylon because it's owned by the Candy Rebels. Might be worthwhile in the end, but let's hit in turn. Allow all my men to continue advancing. This is also means hopefully I'm trying to avoid a reasonable number of engagements because then, then I can spend that money on upgrading my infrastructure. That's right, Ottomans. Scurry around. You know the great eye of Spain is watching you. They're going to try and send their agents to try and steal my technology. Well, I'm not going to have any of that. Yeah, you raid as much as you like. Estonia, there's there's some, there's an army, an entire army heading towards, uh, <laughs> heading towards St. Petersburg from the south. So, if they decide they want to stick around in Riga, they have a full Spanish army heading straight for them. But it won't be long till the Russians have been pushed back. We have a few armies pushing in through across uh, Ankara, or past Ankara, to try and get to the Middle East to relieve some of the pressure. It's very sporting of them to combine armies together to allow me to destroy them. Persia is the one that can, it is the most concerning. But also they're being careful to avoid my zone of control, which gives me another turn of recruitment and another turn of replenishment. So... You know, I think that's a an overall loss to them. We're still waiting for this final attack. Don't worry, Cherokee. They've broken my weaver's cottage, the scamps. So make sure everyone that can replenish is replenishing. Okay, we're recruiting a whole bucket load of troops. New town emerges. Brody in Galicia. You guys have a craft workshop. But it looks like we don't have a... Um... Our invasion hasn't begun this turn because there's no fleets have arrived warnings. Oh, let's move my drinks bottle before I knock it off the side. There we go. Seminary upgrade. So keep dumping as much money as we can into our economy because it's probably... Well, it's going to become increasingly in demand as we advance towards... Um, India, because we're going to sit, start seeing... I mean, I'm upgrading all my churches as well. That's not my economy. I'm going to be increasingly relying on my economy to generate quite large numbers of troops to fight in India. So that's... It is important. It is important to upgrade. I spent a good chunk of money. Oh, you haven't even... God, Newfoundland, you've escaped my notice. Upgrade, 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 replenish. And we've also got Bonavista, upgrade you to a craft workshop, hop back to Europe. Because the main thing in Europe is... Hello. Mr. Cervante, can you leave Dresden? Sort of. Let's recruit some militia to hold the fort while you come in. Ah, oh, you can't get to them. So we might temporarily lose Munich to a rebel attack because no one can get there in time. But that's okay. Uh, are we building anything here? Let's cancel the craft workshop because there's no point building in uh, building in Munich because all that's going to happen when the territory is lost is we are going to get well, all the building works are going to be cancelled anyway. So let's go for a flat set of infrastructure upgrades across Europe. Get that growth per turn to town wealth ticking right now. OK, 
Okay, you don't have an order. So Vito Sanchez is going to strike east against Odessa. Because there's a handful of troops in the port. So we can bring that and bring them under control. Replenish our troops. Mr. Demacado, you might actually go into Istanbul and head south. Christian Morales, you've got a good or good uh, direction to attack. Marcio Campos pushing up, ready to try and save Kiev. Mr. Cuesta, let's give you an order like march across the land towards Astrakhan. You're okay. Probably going to want to take out this force here. So march you guys there. Let's take Mr. Nadal to march and attack the Russian force here. Lots of gar lots of um, garrison guards, but I don't think they're going to hold us up very much. But we want to destroy this pocket of troops before we advance. Otherwise, they may wreak havoc behind our lines. So it's important that we destroy any pockets of resistance as and when we find them. Besides which, the army is small, but elite. But that shouldn't really cause us any problems. A small army is more easily destroyed by artillery and is more easily knackered by mass volleys. Let's group our guns up on the hill to engage at range. You've got a lot of artillery, my friend. Howitzers deploy a bit. There we go. Deploy a bit closer up front. Infantry, sans cavalry, deploy. Forward. My general's got. A, my general and my, my cavalry are bugged. Oops, I accidentally picked up a unit of colonial light. So you men push up. My howitzers are probably going to focus on the wrong things. Oh god, that's still pretty good. I mean, a good number of those units might just break immediately. General's bodyguard's broken. Okay, let my artillery continue to open up. So who's on this flank? Okay, let's take my light horse and my light cavalry around the flank with my general's bodyguard. That general's bodyguard unit is going to become under fire from the 12th regiment. Not a single hit. Muskets at max range. Oh, they, fan they fancy giving my chaps another go. If you want my fusiliers open up, then they'll really be for it. Fusiliers drop into square because they're going to be going after you. New men drop into square because that regiment of horse is coming for you. Let's split my guns into demi cannons and foot artillery. I mean, they're all, I know they're all foot artillery in a way. Horse grenadier guards have dismounted. Questionable. You men reform the square. General's bodyguard's been defeated. Skirmish cavalry. Well, light cavalry is on the flank. They're not charging. And they would be right to not charge. You're going to put a volley into those horse grenadiers. Whoa. We don't want to charge the garrison guards entirely. So let's push up our line. Skirmish is on the right flank. New men cease fire and open fire. New men advance to support. Those aren't skirmishes. Aha! There's a, a jagged terrain feature. Stay away from their cavalry. My general's knocked out their horse grenadier guards. And 
engineer unit's been routed. Keep my cavalry on the move. Pull my general back. Let's begin to try and move up some of my units. Okay, now you can have a go at the garrison guards. Let's retarget my howitzers. The engineers have come back. I mean, that garrison guard unit should go down fairly quick. There we go, they're shattered, so chase them down until they're destroyed. Quick climbs coming in, let's switch to round shot. Go on, kill that last foot guard. Bring my cavalry across. I mean, the generals, this um, engineer unit's not going to last long. Let's direct our artillery fire over there because it's not needed to win these other engagements. New men cease charging because they're going to be A, you're my general and B, I don't want you guys to uh, Die to artillery fire, the engineers on the flank have been routed, so you men cease fire. So my colonial light plus everyone surrounding the garrison guards will mean they will likely fall fairly quickly. Although they are being proving to be a bit resolute, and they even says they're winning at this point. But again, they are against some basic line infantry units, so... You can take out that last horse grenadier guard. Garrison guards probably make more sense to attack now than the... Desert Warriors. But I'm hoping... I speed up time a little bit, you men can knock out these desert warriors fairly quickly. There we go, the troops in the centre have been routed. Yeah, I'm going to continue. So you men attack everyone else that's not my cavalry. Go away. Let's bring my general back here quickly in the event that Okay, you guys go chase down the garrison guards. You men wipe out. There we go, there, wiped out. Then it's all this cavalry against the garrison guards. There you're probably. I don't know. Because in theory, it's better to play in slower time so I can get more attack orders off. But it looks like they are just going to escape. Damn and blast. But still, decisive victory. Can't really complain at that. They only have 185 men remaining. So you men march in and deliver the auto-killing blow. So then you men replenish and continue to march. Mr. Nadal, replenish and march... to Archangelsk. Because we have this force under Mr. Roig advancing towards St. Petersburg. Oh. Ports. Road upgrades are going. You men upgrade here. You men recruit a brig. Gdansk. Your roads are getting better. We want to occupy this port. I mean, I'm going to send my militia. Ah, they have no garrison. Will you surrender? Okay, I'm just going to... I'm just going to seize them. I could win. I could capture it right now, but I'm not... I don't feel the need, and if I just keep sieging them, eventually they will 
naturally attrit themselves. So that's okay. You men are replenishing. Let's get this agent to Kazan. See what's going on. Next turn, Mr. Campos will be in range to break the Siege of Kiev. Everything else is getting okay. Mr. Chavez, advance. Try and advance to the... Well, I want you to really advance towards the bridge to try and catch them in a bridge battle. This Roig, the other Roig, is going to push towards Tbilisi. Because ideally I take Tbilisi with one army, knock out the Ottomans. This army swings east and takes Ardabil. That sounds like a good plan. Istanbul is almost entirely Catholic. And we've still got a... We've already got a region a priest here, so let's march you over to Yerevan. Do some converting across Ankara as you go. Lots of raids. re research the threshing machine. Oh, so you've... That's Seville out of it. There's no tech for them to research. I'm going to hold on to it, because am I not building... Yeah, I am building some upgrades. In theory, this smart decision is probably to rejig my research priority so that Seville's the one doing the research, but to be honest, it's not going to matter a huge amount at this stage of the campaign. Here we have another army marching, ready to uh, get them once over and then be sent to India. But this is where we should start to see some ships appearing over the horizon. I mean, we are going to lose Munich, but I've got an army ready to auto-take <laughs> to auto um, take back the city. Because no dragoons, no, no nobody can get there quick enough. And if the city's ungarrisoned, they'll march up and just demand the city and then they'll take it. So there isn't going to be a fight with my garrison, so there's no, no worries. Should really have knocked down those buildings if I was smart another Persian army on the way. I'm hoping this turn my assault forces appear on the horizon. Yeah. So we've cancelled our construction so there's no worries about losing money there. In Munich at least. So there's a little blue dot in the middle of the map. Mr. Cervanti. I mean, that's, an actually, that's actually fight worthy but I don't want to do that yet. Yeah, these guys have done some raiding. Push up this full army to the Weaver's Cottage. Just auto to push them back. Field Marshal, push on to St. Petersburg. I don't think you guys could probably leave Riga. Hey, you can! Good stuff. So then Arturo Cruz, let's give you orders to march towards Ust. A new nation arises, Bavaria, temporarily. Construction, okay. Okay, I should really stop doing those massively menu-oriented building programs. Especially when I'm being so scattergun as it is. Although the only thing I really should do is... Use this to check road building. Because it is it's not so easily identifiable to pick cities that have reduced roads. Obviously you do see it on the campaign map, but I don't know, things can be a bit iffy. So let's just keep dropping money. At some point I can probably st whoa, 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 college. Let's get rid of you. Do not need more research capacity. We're doing just fine. Let's see you man build a light galley. Just go mad with the economy upgrades. Yeah, those uh, commercial, those um, global trading companies will soon suck up your your money if you're not careful. I mean, they are worth getting because they're just they are really valuable. But 
You know, they do they do take up a significant amount of capital. But at the same time they're a final they're a top tier building. So you and that are in a position to push against one of these armies. You might be you may be even better to push against all of them, but let's see. Okay, I'm gonna send Okay, there is a fleet in the port, because otherwise it would have automatically have invaded and pushed. And I made to deploy the deploy the priest. Let's send this chap who's also got a priest here. So deploy your troops. And then this army here that's just... Well, well, when I say just, it makes it sound bad. A taxi long. The port is unprotected. So we're going to sail in. It's bare bones garrison. Yeah, just fight it. Rebuild the city, upgrade the city. So then this can be a, a valuable staging post for pushing onto the mainland. Don't have any income. All these fleets are ours. Workers on strike call and... Hey, they actually are. You should be okay. Workers on strike in Saxony. Not anymore. Good stuff. Um, I'm not going to attack Munich yet because we've not got... I've spent all my money. Keep you marching south. Miguel Capitello. Yeah, start of a new force being recruited, but again, I've spent all my money. Seville, start working on machine rifling. Brestatovsk is being destroyed. Cambridge is researching reform naval administration, then we can get naval college and keep that upgrade going there. Um, okay, let's hit in turn. Didn't really want to attack anyway because I didn't have the tr the um, finances, I'm hoping. I mean, Kiev will hold for another turn. And near uh, Persia. Well, near Persia, things could get a bit dicey. But just keep on pushing. Fortunately, the Ottomans seem determined to build up a small army in their harbour, which means that when we sweep in and attack the uh, capital... That will be the end of them. Yeah, Russian agents are still prowling through my territory. But then again, I do own a lot of territory. The many great things you can learn in our country, Russia. We are a great people. We are a peaceful people. Unless you declare war on us. And burn down our churches. They're happy to keep raiding, because raiding is all they can do. <laughs> Their army's seen mine appear on the horizon and immediately pulled back. Fear not, Kiev. The time of liberation is at hand. <gasps> Persian rebels! Fascinating. <laughs> immediately, desperately tried to garrison Narun. Bavaria demands peace, and they're not going to get it. That's what happens when you rebel. Bad things happen. Unless you're America, then things go pretty well. Unless you... Well, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> Let's take... These ships. Hello. There's a brig with a fully embarked army that's not doing anything. Two fifth rates can mop up a brig, no problem. 121,000 this turn, which is more like it. Yoink. Raid Bandar Abbas. First rate ship of the line, Spain. What? Oh, my original garrison fleet doesn't have any first rate ship. This is the this is the first the first actual first rate ship of the line launched. I see. 
Got a bunch of raids. You research reformed naval administration. It doesn't really matter where we get it. Well, we probably need to get it in Madrid, yeah, to get the naval college. But before I go too mad, first of all, invest across the board in India. Well, in Ceylon. Then march here. Mr. Cardenas. Attack the city of Neroon. Oh, now I've garrisoned there. Do I send Felix to attack these forces here? Destroy them on the field before we attack Neroon. That's the plan, I think. Because otherwise they'd be coming in as reinforcements and that's just a bit of a frustration we do not need. But here we go. Our first actions at, on the land uh, in India. And this could get a bit... Down the line it could get a bit dicey. But I think... If we do have, we, well, we don't have as much strength in India as I would like, but we definitely are growing the capability to surge large amounts of troops. I definitely want to haul my guns up onto this hill. My howitzers open up on the ground. Let's put my light dragoons up on the hill. They can be backed up by a regiment of horse. My infantry force here is going to deploy and advance rapidly with a heavy cavalry contingent on the right flank. So I want to pick my infantry. Ah, command box, no. Haul my guns up onto the hill. But this way I've got my dragoons to help keep them safe, although it looks like lots of this terrain is a bit impassable, except for all the way over on this flank, which ironically might be where they might well end up going. I mean, the mortars are engaging, heavy cavalry, push, conquistador fire it will off. The left flank of this line just needs to advance. That line infantry unit will need to advance a little bit just to get the mortars within range. Delicious. Camel gunners are starting to be engaged by my marines. The Grenadero de, Grenaderos de Marina. Swiss grenadiers are in position. it says focus on the dervishes and the musketeers more so than the camel gunners the 143rd should be opening up any day now there's no one stuck unlimber the guns quick lines coming in camel gunners are down dervishes are down Yeah, let's get my cavalry off this hill. Mortars are down. Who's that? It's a military horseman. Conquistador, face off with them. We'll fire it well off for now. Dervishes are standing. <laughs> They're coming back. No, nope, they've decided to rout. So advance the core of my line up. Looks like their horsemen have decided to withdraw. My gunners engage that unit of dervishes. Poor unit of Sikh musketeers that was holding back is not going to have a good time. How it's as fire round shot? No, they can limber up. The gunners are engaging the dervishes. These three units advance towards the new enemy. Yeah, there we go. Might be some more 
terrain shenanigans at play here. But as usual, most of my killing power is in my infantry. My gunners are out of range of the this unit of guns, quote unquote. Oh my god, the ram is actually working. Not like my guys. My conquistador are just going to start engaging these dervishes. Let's switch fire it well on. Ah, Guardia de Corps, run! Oh, I think missed him. Charge the dervishes because they're routing. Advance my heavy cavalry up. These three units advance up to the high ground here. That's a unit of musketeers. So they'll they'll want to engage us in a bit of sprightly musketry. Regiment of horse chase down the enemy. My light dragoons advance on the left. Charge the bowmen. They're already wavering, so they should break real easy. Yeah, there they go. Pull my cavalry back. I mean, our rate of advance is just so damn quick. But this is what happens when you're against small forces that come in in dribs and drabs. You're forever pushing. My general will go after the mortar crews. Artillery engage. The Kizilbashi musketeers just about to enter the field. Yeah, you just chase them down, regiment of horse. You have fun. That's loads. So every time you attack, some men always stand still. That was a load of guys that stood still then. There we go. So, uh, this musketeer unit's about to have a bad time because not only are they going to get hammered in the flank, there's men coming right for them. All my artillery folks on the horsemen. Musketeers are going down. At a rate of knots. Fire it well on for my cavalry now. To the point where it's like I don't even really care who they attack. Everybody, that's who you attack now. So you go after the guns, you go after the dervishes. You go after a unit of musketeers, and you, well, my artillery, cease fire. Conquistador go after this unit of musketeers. So we'll catch a bunch of Zimandari horsemen as well. My god. It's so beautiful. Damn right we're going to continue, look at this! My general's still having fun with the mortars. Get over here, regiment of horse. Man, this is... This did not go well for them. See if you can try and... Well, first of all, slam into this massive block of men. Because look how many troops are in it. There's one dervish left. Go on, at least get that one dervish. These two units are all about to row anyway, so then you go after the musketeers here. You men fire it well off. Now all of you go after that unit of musketeers. They're more important than killing... Oh, no, a Sikh Musketeers. Ah, oh, that's not so bad. They're probably going to get away anyway, but... Ah, oh, well. No, they might not. Mm, 
Yeah, thank my dragoons are fire it will off, which is nice. But yeah, they might actually get consumed. There is a handful of them over here. One left. Oh, we got him. Oh, the last guy left is the is a gunner. Very well. Let's bring some infantry over. Maybe bring over my conquistador. Maybe bring over my dragoons. Ah, we got him. Sometimes what needs to happen is you need to shoot at them a bit with your volleys. And that's enough. Oh, okay, Ch definitely auto-resolve them. They're, they're pinned up against the border. Just get rid of them. There we go. So you replenish, march back to Nerun. Mr. Cardina, Cardinas, Cardinas. Let's attack the city and lay the foundations of a first Spanish empire. In, in India. I mean, the Spanish Empire is pretty well established at this point. Let's, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend otherwise. Yes, we can take Nerun, fortify the crap out of it, and then use this to push ideally west. This isn't to be a necessarily an invasion of India yet. I want to isolate and destroy Persia first. So. I'm going to want to put my guns up on the higher ground to the rear, because isn't, we are going to be on the offensive. Got way too many howitzers than is useful. Select my quite elite infantry formation. Put my regulars on the right flank, backed up by my Royal Halberdier Guard. Then I've got Conquistador on either flank field marshal of the army general field marshal of the army oh god go for that unit right there howitzers i'm not even going to order my guys yet because near misses are perfect <laughs> so let's take my line Camels are routing. Gorillas advance. Yeah, the unit of Dervish is hidden in cover. Okay, first of all, let's just divvy out the quick line responsibilities. My guns. How it's there, camels broke again. But you got okay, let's do this a bit more individually now because my line is compiled of smaller and uh, large and small units. Yeah, the howitzers are beginning to make their presence felt. Where's my halberdier guard? Advance. Hello, the dervishes have come out to play. So you men pour volley fire into the bowmen. They... Yeah, that didn't go quite so well. But you guys... Desert warriors are routing from the near misses. Lots of good stuff. Can you go stop and start opening fire from there? So a devastatingly accurate fire. We'll go down a treat. You men advance. They fired a volley. I mean, this is some great quick climb hits. 
charge the dervishes. Not really that bothered on it about a lone dervish unit on the flank. Because the main core of the Indian army there is about to fall. We might keep my halberdiers on the right just to support them a little bit. I mean, yeah, look, that's just a, a massive failure. You men charge the desert warriors. The armed populace looks like they're going to collapse. Conquistador have done a real number on these dervishes. Keep squeezing them. There we go, the dervishes are down. The mortars are going after my halberdier guard. I don't know what it is, they really don't like cavalry. Let's bring my Walloon guard over onto the left. That's a lot of quick cloak chasing after their army. I think it's fair to say that four howitzers may be too many. The Conquistador are doing a getting to go going to work on the camel nomads. Ooh, that could hurt. Ooh, misfire, good. You know, Seek Warriors has come back, so you men bayonet charge the camel nomads. They might hit now. Yeah, they did. It's one unit gone, another unit gone. Oh, my ha everyone's out of range. But let's take... Bring my Walloon Guard along with this. Let's form a new line. Let's take my Conquistadors back. Take a unit line into the town. My guerrillas occupy the town hall. Halberdier Gar that's just got absolutely hammered. They've lost 200 men. My guns still can't reach them. Yeah, the camels are coming back. I mean, the bowmen, natural. Oh no, they've routed. You chaps, just keep engaging. Just keep volleying. It, really, it is really useful to have heavy cavalry like this that can use carbines. Actually fire a devastating volley, then advance. Okay. Confident, steady. They're losing men quite quickly. Throw you men in to help out. Bring some more men over. There we go. Oh, the, look at that, the damn camels again. Just rout. Leave us. We've taken your territory. There's nothing you can do. I mean, are they going to go after my lone unit on the flank? They are. Form square. There we go. My guerrillas that hold the town hall will have something to say about that. As will you. Give an attack ground order here. Oh, okay, the hope would be that as they fire shots, they would hit here and bounce forward, but obviously they are shattered anyway. So there we go, we have made landfall in India with the capture of Naroon. So now we can fortify the bejesus out of the city. Ooh, and the town, it's low enough that I can upgrade this to a 
um, military governor's barracks to get us some more rudimentary um, recruitment capabilities. So let's send one of my priests west to Zahedin. One of you can stay in their own. Let's build a trade port. So Felix, get ready to, to station yourself on the river. There's no point trying to build anything. That's not going to work. Let's upgrade the infrastructure. So down here at Ceylon, two units of colonial line. So let's start to build a start to build a army <laughs> that I can deploy. Mysore, fortunately, we're at peace with. I mean, they're not that strong, but it's something at least. I should also probably. Recruit a couple of sloops to start raiding ports along their coast. And that was us. Okay, I think a good another good thing to do in this episode would be to uh, retake Munich, redestroy the Bavarian rebels, bring them back into the fold. Because the sooner I do that, the sooner it's another army that I can bring to the fight, probably in it in India as well. But if I can get a hold on Nerun, fortify it, garrison it, use it as an iron filing to draw all the Mughal magnets over to the front. And then once I've finished with my with the business in in, in, in um, Europe, when the actual attack finally does happen, it will be all the more devastating. So I'm going to put all my Swiss infantry and mercenaries on one flank, because I think that's quite a fun combination. Some two units of pikes are going to advance through the town. Then some mercenaries and line are going to push the left. Let's redeploy our howitzers to be a bit more useful. Give each flank a unit of cavalry with the general. So maintain all speed and aggressiveness of the advance. I see cavalry. I have to make my howitzers fire round shot. I don't think the artillery is actually doing anything. Freikorps cavalry, let's keep my cavalry mobile on the flank. The idea being that I want to try and see if I can find a gap. Okay, let's not walk them, let's run them in. So I'll give them something to worry about. A bunch of really angry Swiss pikemen charging down their face. Their skirmish cavalry is being engaged by ours. Bring my cavalry in ready to deliver a charge. Fire them off. Charge and hit them. You men maintain your advance. At least try and catch a handful of them. Just to see with a few losses if we can shatter them. I don't think we're going to be so lucky. Oh, how it's a fire. Quick cavalry back. Okay, so you men advance up on the right flank. these units start to take position in more inconvenient locations on the flank. Probably give your... oh no, not halt. Just get your muskets firing. Cavalry. Okay, good. The Froco Cavalry did come back, but they are now gone. You men charge the militia. You men have to charge that unit of line infantry because you're now exposed. The militia routing. 
Let's see if militia on the flank. I mean, they're Western European mercenaries. Nah, eh, they don't look that dapper. Their militia look more dapper. Engineers, eh? Nice of you to shoot your own militia in the back. Heavily heavily involved in in uh, a melee attack here regiment of horse actually no regiment of horse uh, no hit the militia they will probably not come out of that super well gunners engage the cavalry sharpshooters howitzers cease fire the regiment of horse can support this flank here keep pushing my infantry through the gaps, maybe put a line infantry, an extra line infantry unit on this flank. Ooh, that militia unit is wavering. Ah, they came back. European mercenaries are going down, so I need to pivot my battle line plus... Uh, just pivot my battle line. It's quite wide, that's another unit. another unit uh, destroyed on the left so maintain our advance everybody except my pikes just run up, run in on the flank there's a unit of artillery there which I've not which I've forgotten about enemy generals being killed you can hit that unit Yes, you can. You can hit. They're shattered. Charge into the second. Try and make them break because they're already wavering. There we go. So now you can form up again. Let my cavalry do a bit of killing. The gunners have routed. Cavalry's routed. Let's take my troops, storm up into the faces of the militia that is still here. My artillery can't really do anything at this extended range. So again, everyone that's not cavalry or pikes. Did I hear mines going off? I did. You men fall back. Hello. 12 pounder crew decided to come back and man their guns. Think you might have a bit of trouble there. Maybe if you. Well, if there's a window there. And is there one on the. Oh, a daring man. It's a ballsy artillery commander, I'll tell you that. But all my artillery is currently firing at max range, so just cease fire. All my infantry here is reloading. Swiss Grenadiers are just in perfect condition. It's this European mercenary unit on the flank that's taken the most amount of damage. But they're about to repay that damage. Charge the militia because it's so close. got grenadiers and pikemen right here so it would be I'd have to be crazy not to do it although my grenadiers can't really read a compass there we go they finally worked it out charge into the second regiment down they go huzzah I brought those traitorous rebels to the crown. That's what happens, Munich.
See, if this was Rome, I'd exterminate the population and be like, never again! It's remarkable how quickly these games turn you on to totalitarianism, because damn, it's effective! You end up just going, oh, look at all these people who are upset, and you go, yeah, well, the trick is, is to brutally suppress every type of social movement, and eventually, they figure out not to do that. It's, it's literally every time. Oh, okay, what the fuck did you know? I forgot about that. Every time you play one of these games, it's weird that that is the route you go down. It's like, yeah, I could be try to be a benevolent leader, but you know what? It's not as effective. So let's repair this, and let's sail a galley across. Well, I don't know, we don't have to worry about it yet. You're near. You're in pretty good shape. Obviously, you still need to replenish, but I want you to get up there and help Maroon rapidly. But now, I think, is the time to try build a another army. So I want a unit of Conquistador. I want a unit of Guardia de Corn. I want a unit of Carabineros Real. They look pretty neat. Then I would like 24 pound of howitzers, and I would like 24 pound of howitzer, 24 pound of foot artillery anywhere. It's 12 pound of foot. Huh. Now eh, whatever, 12 pounders are still good. There we go. And then in Portugal. We can start to try and pick up... Well, let's not go mad. Oh, let's take your dragoons. Right, I'm not, I'm not going to pick up a... Well, no, I'm going to pick... I am going to... Okay, I've got two heavies and a skirmish cavalry. That's good. I might recruit another general's bodyguard as well. And then let's go to here... So you've recruited your second rate. No, not a war galleon. Third rate ship of the line. Oh no, can I not afford thirds? Third rate, there we go. Oh, you're on the way. Well, they're too, to be honest. Nah, you're on the way. Or maybe I might take Mr. Kiroga. Hmm. I should really take the take the battle to these guys. I don't. Think, I think if I fight him, it well, it might, it may or may not bring in this chap. Let's set it up for the next episode. Yes. Oh my God! And they're so heavily depleted. Definitely want to do this. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for a battle that will see us completely sweep aside two seemingly impressive looking stacks of Persian troops. No wonder they didn't want to attack. Cheers everyone.